all right guys so to start off with i'm starting with my rough sketch and i'm using this brush right here and i'm also using a reference to create this artwork which will be linked down in the description box below so go check that out Once the sketch is ready, start adding base color to your painting. Now you can pick up colors from the reference that you are using. And this is the brush that I'm using right here just because I wanted some texture in my artwork. Adding base color is really essential before we can begin with shading and highlighting. So make sure you are not skipping this step. Okay guys, so once you have your sketch ready and the base colors ready, here what I'm doing is I picked up this background from one of my previous paintings and I copy and pasted this background here. So basically for the background, you can use any background. You can even pick it up from the internet. Do not forget to give credits though. But yeah, I'm going to show you how you can actually merge your main subject with the background so it looks as if it belongs to this painting only. So what I'm doing is once I have this background, I once I pasted the background from, from one of my paintings, I created a new layer above all of the layers that I have and I picked up a color from the background only and I started painting this color all over this new layer that we have created again above all of the layers that we have and once the color was failed what I did is I changed the layer mode to vivid light Initially, I just played around with these layer modes to see what looks the best, but I ended up deciding to have vivid light as my final layer mode and I also decreased the opacity. Now what this will do is this will bind the main subject with the background so as if the painting or the background belongs to the main subject if that makes any sense. Once you have the background set, you are gonna wanna start with the shading. So before I even do that, what I do is I go ahead and pick up my blending brush and I'm using the similar brush I used to create the sketch for this artwork. And I'm just going ahead and blending those sketch lines out. So this is the first step before we even start with placing our shadows and highlights. Make sure not to blend everything completely out because we don't want to get rid of those sketch lines but we also want to make sure that they're not looking as harsh so basically i'm very lightly blending these sketch lines out once those sketch lines are nicely blended now we can go ahead and start placing those shadows now as you guys can see i actually merged all of those layers together and what I did, I enabled alpha lock and I started adding this color, which is slightly darker than the base color. So that's just this very simple trick. Just pick up the base color, darken it up a little bit. You can even just go ahead and desaturate it a little bit if you want to. And you can just start adding wherever you think light is not hitting. And as the whole theme of this artwork is towards more towards the darker side, I don't really think that I need to add any highlights. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding these uh, shadows and also making sure that I'm blending this out. And I'm actually using the similar brush I used to add the base color. But wherever the base color is black, I have used a gray kind of color 
so that I can add some sort of highlight just to give it some dimension. So for example, on the gloves, I used a little bit of grayish, bluish kind of gray color. Now, once I was happy with everything, now is the time we create the lighting and everything. So for that, what I've done is I've created a new layer above that layer, that blue colored layer, where the blue color layer that we created to merge the subject with the background. And I'm doing it above that layer so that I can make the lighting look more vibrant and bright. So basically what I'm doing is I actually picked up Luminance uh, brush from Luminance brush set if I'm not wrong. It's light brush actually. And I picked up this really bright saturated orange color and I'm just adding it wherever I think light should be really, really bright, if that makes any sense. And I also cleaned it up and I also changed the layer mode to add. But if you don't have light brush in your software, you don't really have to use that. You can use any brush and then you can change the layer mode to add just to brighten that up. Now, just to add a little glow behind the pumpkin, I picked up soft air brush and I picked up this yellow color from the pumpkin. And now I'm going to place it behind the, the whole man kind of thing. And I'm just going to add a Gaussian blur and change the layer mode to add. And as you guys can see, it is glowing. So you don't have to have that luminance brush set in your software because you can still add this glow kind of effect without even having to use that luminance brush set. So yeah, that was that. Now once that's done, what you got to do is you got to start adding some light on the clothes as well. So I'm using the similar brush I used to add base color on the painting and I'm using this really bright and vibrant orange color to add light and you don't have to be perfect with it because we'll be blending this so you don't have to worry about its harshness even though it looks good as is so you have to see where the light will hit wherever the glowing object is so according to that you want to add the add the lighting to the whole the rest of the painting if that makes any sense and if you are creating something similar to what i am creating here then you can just follow what i'm doing here now once you have once you're happy with that lighting you can go ahead and just blend that out make sure not to blend it out completely because we do want something there and once i was done blending it i realized that i lost a lot of color so i went back and picked up the brush again and i added a little bit more of that color a little bit more of that light again over the blended part so yeah it's like a back and forth but you have to see what looks the best for your painting Once that was done, I wanted to add a little bit more of that glow around the pumpkin. So I picked up a um, soft air brush and I picked up the um, yellow color and I brushed it around the pumpkin like this. To blend it, what I did is I added Gaussian Blur and then I changed the layer mode to add just to make it glow a little more. And also I did decrease the opacity of that layer a little bit because it was looking too much. After that, I went back to the layer where we added light on the clothes and I went back, I enabled alpha log and I changed the color to yellow. As the pumpkin was glowing in yellow, so I had to match the color of the lighting as well. And once that was done, I picked up light pen and I'm going to add these little dots around the glow just to just to add a little bit of something to the whole painting. Again, if you don't have luminance brush set, you can use any brush that you want. Just make sure to change the layer mode to add or color dodge. And that's basically it. So in the end, what I did, I went back to the background layer and I 
added some motion blur to the background but other than that i think you are done here and i also played around with the layer where we merged the subject with the background and i played around with the opacity and yeah that's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video